quite a busy day today. Lots of boats. Lots of people along the Canal Turpuff as well. Walking the dogs, cycling, like my friend Stuart earlier on that passed me. Hi guys, you alright? Yeah, are you? Good? With this weather? Where you heading? Channel. Where you headed? Oh, thank you, where are you heading? Uh, Lime Lime. Marina. You're on the next episode. Oh, fantastic. Lovely people. You find that um, the majority of the, the, the boaters on the canal are, are very friendly. There's a great community down here on the canal. The pride of York, this boat. I'm from Yorkshire, and York is a beautiful city. It's lovely just sat here watching the world go by. Hello. Hello. Everybody is really friendly. It's not that hard really to be in the present moment, especially if you're out here in nature like me. But you can do it even in a, a busy space where there's noise, you know. Some people find it easy to focus into one particular sound or a, an image and to, to just watch and observe that image or an animal like I would in nature, a bird. You'll have done it maybe before when you've focused in on something beautiful. You've been on top of a hill and you're looking at that landscape. You're focused on that wonderful scenery and nature and the clouds drifting by that your mind's not thinking about other things it's completely empty you know from that empty mind comes creativeness words will just come out of nowhere for a poem a song or a, an idea for for filming or i just get a, a sudden spark of light to do something get up and get active, do something, filming, go off somewhere. We all need something to do. I can't just sit here in stillness all day long <laughs> and all night. It's just part of life that you get disruptions. Things go wrong. Don't turn out to be what you expected. But at the end of the day, that's just life. And we learn from the mistakes. We learn from things that go wrong or seem to go wrong. And we carry on. Sometimes you do feel that you want to give up. But it's not really you wanting to give up, it's just your mind, usually the ego stepping in and, and saying, no, don't do it. It's like when you want to change your life, you feel that you should do something different. There's this gut feeling inside you, you want to do something different. But then the mind comes in and hijacks it. The ego comes in and says, no, no, you can't do this. This could go wrong, this could happen. Oh, what if, what if, <laughs> it's all that, isn't it? And that's where I find nature helps me, is it makes me, it helps me come out of that place of, of the mind wanting to take over. The more you're out in nature, the more you're connecting with yourself, the more you get deeper into your inner journey. 
the more you see and this awareness grows within you and so when this mind starts coming in and starts saying oh this could happen all this could happen, you actually see it straight away it's like you're a different person you're you're looking down at yourself and and hearing yourself talk and then you go why did i say that what was that about you know you and you you stop that ego overtaking because it is always that fear is always wants to stop you doing something there's always fear wants to stop you going somewhere or fear is created by somebody else to stop you doing something sometimes we just have to take the plunge take that one big leap you'll never know until you try we're humans on a planet in a vast universe of many other universes maybe this might be one opportunity of life and so you got to make the most of living you know